collision with purpose, in pursuit of purpose. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the A Collision with Purpose Project under the spotlight. Here, individuals are given the opportunity to explore self in pursuit of their purpose. I am Dr. Laxa Stevenson, and I'm your host. The A Collision with Purpose Project allows individuals to pause, take a quiet moment, listen, be introspective, and engage self-reflection in pursuing their purpose to unleash possibilities with far-reaching implications for self and for others. Today, the A Collision with Purpose Project Spotlight is on Mr. Garfield Gary G. McCook. Mr. McCook is the president and founder of the Jamaican International Independence Foreign Song Competition. He is the CEO of Stylesboro Personal Care Home and the broker owner of Georgia Dream Homes Realty and New York Dream Homes Realty. Folks, let us welcome Mr. McCook to the A Collision with Purpose Project under the spotlight. Thank you, Dr. Stevenson, for that warm welcome. Uh, glad to be here to be on the program with you and uh, a very interesting topic, purpose. Mr. McCook, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome you to the A Collision with Purpose Project under the spotlight. I'm looking forward to having an engaging, insightful, and interactive conversation with you about a topic which I believe is arguably one of the most consequential concepts in forming how we operate as individuals and ultimately what we perceive as our legacy. I agree with you. That word is a, a short and small word, but has a powerful, powerful caption to it. A powerful caption is indeed, indeed. So, Mr. McCook. Today, you're going to explore self in pursuit of your purpose. I will be asking you a series of questions relating to purpose, your purpose. Are you ready to conduct an exploration of self in pursuit of your purpose? Yes, I am. Awesome, awesome. So, Mr. McCook, purpose is one of those concepts, one of those words that tend to create some issues for some individuals. You know, when asked what is purpose, many individuals tend to fumble with the question and the answer. So I believe that any conversation relating to purpose should begin with a definition of purpose. Can you be so kind as to define purpose for our listeners and do so in a broad way? All right, Dr. Um, Stevenson, thanks again for the question. Um, you know, in, in life, you, you, you live, and I, I've always thought that uh, the purpose is that, is that point or time in your life when you realize that uh, there's more than just your existence, your, your living. There, there's got to be something in life that you can identify, you can focus on. You can, you, you can grasp it, you can, you can, it's a goal that you say, okay, there is one point there. It's like you're looking at a point at the top of a, a, a T and you, you're focusing on that top point and that's your focus. Now, I think in life, uh, my purpose has changed over my lifetime. So I think each, there, there are different segments segment in your life when your purpose changes. When I was younger, um, my purpose at that time was to uh, get, a, get, get an education, get a job, to start a family. So that was my purpose. Um, so, and and, and I, I, I went on to achieve those goals. Um, at this stage of my life, um, uh, my purpose is um, looking forward to where I am right now, analyzing, and I have identified what my purpose is. And um, I'm focused on that right now, and I'm, 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 I'm heading there, I'm getting there. So I've identified where I am in life and what I need to do, and um, I'm, I'm heading for that purpose. So that's the stage of, in my life. Again, my life has had different purposes. I realize that most of the purposes, though, are centered around um, uh, customer service or human beings or humanity. And um, that's, that's where I am right now at my, in my life. So there's a common theme, and that yes. theme is based on promoting yes. humanity service given. Yes, sir. That, is that correct? That's correct. That's correct. So 
your description of purpose in, in a general way suggests that it is important. That's correct. And, and so why do you believe that it is important for one to understand their purpose? Um, I would say uh, understanding your purpose helps you as a, it's like it gives you that roadmap. It's, you have a roadmap to follow. So it, 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 it guides you in navigating the, the, the speed bumps, if, if you want to call it, right? And, and, and know when you get to that amber light and the amber, you know, uh, means slow down. So you get to that amber where it tells you, uh, slow down, um, uh, reflect, uh, readjust realign. So unless you understand what your purpose is, um, it's like you're lost. So that's my roadmap. That's my understanding of what purpose is, a roadmap. So having a roadmap is always a good thing to help you to get to your destination. That's correct. Yeah. So that's an awesome thing. So you describe purpose in general and you're as a moving target, changing, changing, changing. So in a very specific way, can you tell us what your purpose is? Um, yes, uh, and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned the, the different stages, yes. Um, again, at this stage of my life, my, my purpose is um, uh, enhancing the quality of my life, um, my family's life, um, being my brother and sister's keeper, um, being satisfied, and, and how, how do I achieve that? Right now, I, I started a, a international song commission um, two years ago. So I, I'm focused on that. Um, GIFS, which is the Jamaica International Independence Foreign Song Competition, that's my focus now. That's my purpose. I am trying to um, uh, create a platform for, for Jamaican artists in the diaspora who wants to engage in our know, festival or a festival song competition or the festivities or independence festivities. So that's my purpose now. And um, I, I, it, for, but for all this to happen, I have to be able to concentrate on my health, uh, making sure uh, mind, body and soul are intact so that purpose can be achieved. So it's quite a whole person approach. Yes, that's correct. So, an idea that you will often hear is living on purpose, aligning oneself with purpose. Can you talk about that for, for a minute? Um, it's, it's, it's a very important measure in that whole purpose philosophy, um, not to be just drifting by, floating um, without any any concern in the world, nothing, nothing makes sense to you or nothing bothers you. Uh, something, bother may sound like a, a, um, a bad thing, but unless that there's something bothering you, irking you to say, uh, move on or uh, be, 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 be cognizant of what's going on, then your life is just a waste. So again, it's very important for us to maintain and keep our eyes on uh, the focus or, or the purpose. And what are the benefits of aligning oneself with, with, with purpose? Um, benefits is that I think it, it helps the, it, it helps your being, it helps your physical, everything has to be, I, I mentioned earlier about being healthy. Um, so if you have a purpose, you gotta make sure that, okay, you can walk, simple things as walking and talking and all that stuff. Um, you, your, your, your mind is aligned with what's happening in the world. And um, uh, so, so you, you have to be able to have all your cognitive things together and, um, and focus. For some reason, focus and purpose seems to be entwined. You have to be focused if you want to have a purpose. So, and intentionality is, is yes. very important, I would say. Yes, yes. Yeah. So... For those individuals yes. who are having difficulty understanding their purpose, much less living on their purpose, and, 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 and are also challenged with articulating what their purpose is, do you have any recommendations? Um, 
I think it entails sitting back, well, it entails sitting back and reflecting, but the individual has to, they have to want to do it. Um, sometimes they're there unless, uh, uh, like you're, you're coming up with purpose now. Before now, uh, I wasn't really thinking of purpose. I was doing things, but not realizing that I was doing it with that purpose. It's just that you have uh, uh, magnified the word for us to delve more in it. So it may mean urging someone, just like how you have urged us and urged others to really focus. So uh, and 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 decide and and tell people or go in your brain and say, what what does purpose mean to me? Um, so it's just a matter of communicating with your brother and sister and just asking them a simple question like you have asked, what is purpose? And I think that may energize them and have them to really reflect on where they are in their life and if there is a purpose for their life. Yeah, so the intentionality element of purpose is, is important. Very, but, very, but yes. That's where the, the focus mm -hmm. and to become more of an active thing. That's correct. Yes. So knowing that you're aligned with your purpose and what would you like to say in, in terms of how your jobs, your profession, what you do for a living is supporting your purpose? Um, well, first I had to identify it. So I want to say I, I found it. I, I identified it. Um, I embraced it. And I, I worked it. And right now I'm just doing it. And doing it is doing what my purpose is. So all of those, um, uh, what I just mentioned, you put them together and it, 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 it has helped me um, on my journey and where I am today. You, you talk about your, your the GIFs. Let's, let's talk about Stylesboro Personal Care Home yes. and, and what you're doing there. And that, how does that tie in to, to, to use, you know, achieving a, your purpose. Okay, so uh, Stasboro Personal Care Home, um, we look at it as a ministry. Um, it's us ministering to individuals who uh, have a need now, they cannot uh, function on their own at home anymore. Um, by them being with us and we providing a, a, a healthy and um, environment for them, they, they, their families can live uh, a life of normalcy. Um, so it, it's, it's, we look at it as a ministry. And that in itself, um, Dr. Lax, is, is, uh, is self-fulfilling. Sometimes I get up here and uh, I live a mile away from where the, the, the personal care home is. Just, just a matter of going there and seeing those elderly folks and knowing that one day um, we may have ailments like they have. And um, we would hope that there are folks that can take care of them just like we are doing. Um, it, 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 it makes you think and look at life and realize that, look, you can be here tomorrow, today, and tomorrow something takes you down. I mean, I, I can give an example of a, a resident I had in the past who worked all their life, um, two friends working all their life, um, getting ready to retire, have built up a nest egg, followed all of those financial advisors over the years, and then here it is, they had a stroke and ended up there in a personal care home. So we have to so, so that, that helps me and it comes back to the people, person and, 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 and things. So that's my ministry or our ministry. And it's, it's really fulfilling and rewarding to, to see that we're giving back. I, I say to folks, I'm in this country so many years, uh, America has been good to me or good to us. So it's, it's, it's again, a way of giving back, giving back to people who are in need and, and giving them the quality care that they need for the, the remainder of their lives. At, at what stage of your life did you discover your purpose? Did, and what were the events surrounding that discovery? Can you recall? Well, if, uh, since we are on um, the, um, I go back to the personal care home. Um, back in uh, 2008, um, uh, that place was really bought for, as my um, real estate broker's office. But I realized that soon out that I only needed a room upstairs with a conference table to have closing. Uh, it's a property that's on an acre, 1.3 acre. And I kept saying to myself and to my wife, we need to do something else with this property. 
there's so much that can be done. Uh, you are in a profession as a nurse. Let's put our minds and heads together and, and see what there is. And we always wanted to give back. And in conversations with her, we realized that, hmm, there is a purpose why we got this place. <laughs> it, 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 we, we got it for one, one purpose, which was real estate. Mm -hmm. But here it is, it can fulfill other purposes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we took it upon ourselves at that time to investigate. And we found our purpose. And that's why I say it's pur different stages in life, you have different purposes. So that was 14 years ago. So my purpose at that time was, here it is, we have the, the property. Let, let's do something that is beneficial to us and to other well-being. So that was when we found what our purpose was in that, in that area. So 14 years ago, yes. you made the acquisition of that, uh, that property with the intention to use it for your real estate brokerage. That's correct. And, and then you ended up doing personal care home. So it is, uh, and with discussion with your wife as well, it was very much part of, of, of your work. So it is safe to say then that 14 years ago, you had you a collision with your purpose. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Okay. So again, you know, we talk about purpose in, in a very specific, in, in a general way. And what are some of the takeaways from this conversation that you would like to like to leave with our audience? Well, uh, have, a, have, a, have an open mind. Um, I think I, I'm always thinking, thinking about what else can I do? What next? So um, try not to have your mind stagnate. Um, um, don't be, don't, don't have your mind in slavery, as Bob Marley said, emancipate yourself from mental slavery, because the way we think has a lot to do with what we can achieve. And so you gotta have that open mind. I'm always looking for something else to do because boredom is not a part of my equation. Um, I, I, I'm at a stage in my life now where I am venturing into different things. The personal care home is there, the real estate is there, the, the, um, the, 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 the song competition is there, and, and that again, Laxley, is a good example for someone to understand that my purpose in doing this was I, I did it, I dabbled a little in acting and I went to a rehearsal some years ago and realized that what am I doing here? This is going to take so much out of me to come to rehearsals, rehearsals, rehearsals. And then the light bulb went off. And I always liked the, the, the stage and the acting and singing. And um, I found a purpose that there were artists in the, in the diaspora who wanted to a platform for themselves. And, um, and, and we create, I created that platform. So again, it comes back to be having an open mind. Uh, keep, keep thinking of different things. Um, if, you, if you try, you, you cannot know the result until you try. So uh, again, if, if, if they adapt those things, they will find that during their life, their purposes will change as they elevate and get older. But it's always, there's always a purpose there. Always a purpose. Always a purpose. So one of the inspiration for this A Collision with Purpose project is to create awareness. And, and you said before, you did not pay much attention to purpose in, in, in a definitive way. However, you're always living your purpose. So what do you plan to do moving forward? Will this be a, a conversation in your family with your friends? Is, is this going to become a, a routine discussion for you? Yeah, you know, um, I've, I've had a conversation with my two sons. And, you know, they when I said it to them, they said, what is that? And I said, well, just, just think about it, you know. I said, here I was going along in life, not really fo focusing on the word purpose until you brought it to my attention and others' attention. And then you, it gives you that time to sit back and re, you know, reflect and say, hmm, am I, because the first time you mentioned to it, I said to myself, am, am I really, do I really have a purpose? And then I saw the different purposes and different stages of my life that they were purpose. But again, until it was brought to my attention, um, it just, it just was, it, I was just existing. Um, but still doing my purpose, I didn't realize. <laughs> but, but, but not in an intentional way. Not in an in, yes, that's correct. Yeah. 
And, and, and so, and so I, you know, you'll find that that is the case for many individuals. Mm -hmm. They're acting on their purpose, but are not doing it. Therefore, they don't have that roadmap that you that you, you, you talked about earlier, which there's some benefits to having a roadmap, right? That's correct. Yeah. So, you know, having a, a purposeful life is, is definitely adding value and is of benefits and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, so Mr. McCook, that pretty much, unless you have anything else that you'd like to say. I would just like to say, con I, I congratulate you. Uh, and what you're doing is what I said a while ago about having an open mind, um, coming up with different scenarios that can um, uh, help um, individuals. Um, you, you, I know you have uh, the, the Global Humanity Network going on, which is against reaching out to folks to help them. So um, uh, we just have to sit back, relax, and think about life and just make sure we understand why we are living. We're not just here to exist. There is something else there for us in life. And we got to find that and identify it. Something bigger than us, huh? Bigger than us. Yes, 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 yes. So Mr. McCook, I want to thank you for joining me today on the A Collision with Purpose Project. Your insights will undoubtedly add value to the conversation about purpose. You know, I'm looking forward to having you back on the spotlight to continue our conversation about purpose. You noted that you, your purpose is always changing. And as you're taking on more challenges, which you undoubtedly will do, you're that type of a person, you, you will, there will be a need for you to come back for us to continue this conversation. So I'm gonna open, extend an open invitation for you to come back. Do you accept that? Yes, yes, Dr. Lax, I surely do. Okay, looking forward to having you back. Yes. Folks, this brings us to the end of this edition of the A Collision with Purpose Project on the Spotlight. If you're like most of us and would like to have a better understanding of your purpose, then please submit your short video speaking on the topic of, of purpose to a collision with purpose at gmail.com. If you're so inclined, and would like to participate in an interview much like this one, then submit your request to participate in an interview to a collision with purpose at gmail.com. Please note that your video submission will be posted on our social media platforms. That is it for now. Blessings always. Thank you. Have a good evening.